Hello and welcome to another video which is short notice. I've still got this uh, from Halloween, one I bought from Northern Monk. Today I happen to be out, I happen to be passing Morrison's, so I decided to see what was in there after what happened at Sainsbury. So I've got another haul, so we're going to see even more stuff we're going to go through, and some more dry January stuff. So let's go through the cans first. Let's start with Northern Monk then. Got North Star 3. That is a Black Forest Imperial Stout, 9%. Looking forward to that. The colours on it, not the art style itself, look very similar to. Um, was that Shaun of the Dead one? Shaun of the. Dr <laughs> Death. Uh, it's like Death of Shaun or something. Anyway, it's decadent cherry chocolate. Looking forward to that. Let's see if we can fit them all on the camera today. Next, we'll keep with Northern Monk. I thought this looked good. <laughs> I've not even heard of this one before. Gonna win in Morrison's this time. This is Mango Pale Ale, 5.4%. Mangoes on with Faith. Northern Monk related again. Faith and Custard was their rhubarb and custard one. I like the style on that. Put that on a t-shirt, Northern Monk, and we will buy it. So that is also there. And this one I saw, because um, like I said in the last video, I'm getting into the sours, even though they're more like Alka Pops. Pompo Macello, which is a juicy grapefruit sour IPA. 6.0%. That looked different. That was on the shelf. These were four for three at Morrison's. So that's why I decided to go for all of these were actually. Next one is a smaller can. Pineapple Milkshake by Black Sheep. It was right there. It was right there at the bottom, Black Sheep. But I like the art style on the can. Really cool. Pineapple Milkshake Juicy Tropical, 5.3% IPA. So that is what I'm going to be trying also. Next, we've got another one of these. Um, minimalist in what they say in writing. It's 5%. Another Brew York one, which I'm looking forward to. I've not tried the other one yet. Juice Forsyth. Juicy Bonus Fruited IPA. And again, they put just enough <laughs> to uh, not get done for copyright. Juicy Forsyth. And again, the candy is just basically artwork all the way around and that's what I like about this brewery got a little uh, nod to uh, play your cards right or whatever it was called prices right lower higher oh cuddly toy from the generation game and also strictly come dancing rest in peace Bruce Forsyth we've got juice Forsyth that looks pretty cool one more can disco forklift truck you heard me right disco forklift truck mango pale ale by Drygate Brewing Co. This 5.1%. I've not tried any of that stuff before. That looked pretty cool. So we're going to be trying that. Now we're on to the bottles. I will start with St. Peter's. I've tried some of that stuff before. This is made in Suffolk, I believe. So when I used to live down there, I used to try these a bit more. Come in these uh, slightly weird shaped bottles. This is the Plum Porter. Sweet Porter with Jammy Damson and Blackcurrant. 5.0%. Looking forward to trying that at some point. Most of these will be after January because I'm doing dry January. Next we've got Eagle Brewing Brewery. Sticky Toffee Pudding Beer, 5%. This should be good. But the real main Eagle one that a lot of people told me to try, I finally got hold of, Banana Bread Beer. And that has evaded me for quite a while. So I will be trying that. I will be looking forward to that. But they're from the same brewery. Then we've got three left. These are all dry January. Uh, Daniel Leach is watching. <laughs> Remember the days when we used to have this when we went to Horton Towers? The, we had the actual proper version. This is the zero version of Doom Bar. Got to give that a try. See if that's as heavy in the taste and consistency. This I didn't even know existed. And I didn't see this at Tesco either. But from Morrison's, I got the Old Speckled Hen Low Alcohol 0.5%. The blue there. That looks quite good. That, considering, I've only got a few. Uh, I've got a few uh, that are decent and not seen before. The non-alcoholic range was very minimalist, even compared to Tesco. But they've had different stuff. And this is a refreshing isotonic drink. 0.5% alcohol. It is Erdinger. Never sliced an Erdinger, wasn't it, in the advert? But that I'm looking forward to trying as well. Isotonic makes me think of isotonic fruit drinks. So maybe there's going to be some electrolytes in there, no doubt. But those three will probably get reviewed first. But there we there we have it. Let's uh, all take a photograph. This should be good. Uh, doing it there. 
disregard that. We've got the Erdinger on the edge. Can we get them all in the photo? Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's take a photograph of those. I will see you soon. If you try any of these, let me know if which ones are you looking forward to me rambling on about. And um, yeah, I just went there back. So I've basically got the next few months lined up. These three will be getting drank first because dry January is already half gone. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell other people about it who like to drink. But for now, I'll see you in the rear view because I am gone.